O King. So we have a sample of suffering, the prophets. Daniel, Isaiah, and all the rest. Verse 11 says, Behold, we count them happy. Watch yourself. Behold, we, that's a key word, we count them happy which endure. You have heard of the patience. Interesting, it doesn't say faith. You have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. Say with me. Suffering. suffering. Learning from suffering. Learning. Being in the school of suffering. Yeah. You go to school to become productive. Mm -hmm. You go to school to become responsible. And you go to school to become accountable. Yeah. Those are three reasons you go to school. When you enter into Christ, the school of suffering with Christ begins. Before Christ, we suffer because of our ignorance. We suffer because of our negligence. We suffer because we really just don't know any better. But when we enter into the, into the bosom, into the reality of Jesus Christ, we enter into the university, good God Almighty, Amen. the university of Jesus. We enter into him. School then begins now with the aid of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We understand three things. And I'll be ready to sit down. First of all, suffering is to be expected. Because without Christ, there is this ignorance that I don't have to go through anything. And there are many parents that went through so much to send their children to university and they give them a free ride and they don't instill in their children that the money that they are spending on their college education will not make them wise, but it may make them learning. Oh, wow. <laughs> now there's a difference between being smart and being wise. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> smart is you know the answer. Wise is you understand yes, yes, yes. how to work the answer. Yes. You know there are some kids that like to write the answer at the bottom. What I like about old school is they tell you to work it. Sure. <laughs> work it so you see how you came up with the answer. Yes. 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 And that's what God does in our life when we come into him. He works us. And he teaches us, first of all, that suffering is to be expected. Expected. Expect people not to want to hear you preach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Expect people to be prejudiced. Mm -hmm. It is their nature. Mm -hmm. Expect people to attempt to bully you. Expect pressure when you get near the mountaintop. Mm -hmm. Expect your legs to be hurting as you have climbed to the peak of the mountain. Expect banks not to loan you money. Expect it. Don't take for granted that this life is an easy life. Or this message from our media for our children. MySpace. Facebook. Yeah. Social media. Yeah. Know somebody. The only one person you should want to know is the very one that breathed into your being and gave you life. Oh, yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We are teaching our children that they don't need to struggle. My children need to struggle. Yes. Amen. Amen. 
They need to start to understand that you must have before you step out of your house. Yes. You ought to understand that you ought to know how to work mm -hmm. yes. and you must know how to worship. Mm -hmm. yes. So life is to be expected to be a place of suffering. Yes. Number two, suffering not only is to be expected, but suffering, I emphasize this, is education. <laughs> Psalms 119.71 says, when I was afflicted, I learned your statutes. I want to connect the witness. That word, this word does not become a reality to you until you see it working in the midst of your suffering. Yes. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And those that believe that he is God, he is a provider of them that yes. diligently seek him. I want to connect the witness here. Yes. Amen. Uh, people have become so illiterate of the word of God. They don't want to be educated. Just like these children say they hate school. You know why they hate school? In the natural, it works them. That's why they hate it. They don't like it because it works them. And I'm going to tell you a minute day when I got up, saw the snow outside and said to myself, I'm not going outside and shovel the snow out of my driveway. I don't feel like getting in my car driving across the Ambassador Bridge, going through the U.S. Customs, and driving again another 40 minutes to get to my job in Livonia, and then have to get in a truck all day, and then drive and un unload a heavy half a ton, good God Almighty, wheels of steel, and then drive home, and sit on the bridge, and then pay, good God Almighty. And to pay attention to my wife and kids. That's working. But what made me do it? The suffering. Suffering. I was educated enough to understand that if a man doesn't take care of his own house, he's worse than an infidel. The suffering that I endured, many a day, I would not let my wife see my tears. I hid them on the inside. Yeah. But thank God. Thank, thank God. God. I was able to retire at 30 years, two months, and nine days because God is always 